Hey guys, this is Wes the Pest here, and today we are going to be playing some The Legend of Zelda Four Swords Edition, the Anniversary Edition. <laughs> well, yeah, I didn't say that too good, so I'm gonna make a new file. I'm just gonna delete one first. So, now that this one's erased, I can make a new file, and let's start. I'm just gonna call myself, um, Wes. Okay, where's the S? It's only a maximum six characters, so let's go to OK. This is starting, and I'm gonna do single player. One sec, I just have to adjust the camera. Okay, got it. And I think this guy will be blue, because I like blue. So the first thing we're gonna be doing is training. So it says, Welcome to the Chambers of Insight. You will find many traps and puzzles in the areas ahead. We will give you advice that will aid you in your quest. quest. Do not fail to heed it. Even if you do listen well to all of our lessons, you must also avoid being careless. If you are not careful, you may run into situations when you hit a dead end and you are unable to proceed in your quest. If that happens, press start and select a retry to challenge again. You will be able to start that same floor from the beginning. Okay, that's cool. First try talking to my friend near the near the wall over there. Press A to talk. Okay, got that. Get over here. <laughs> Hi, random person. Those glimmering circles you see before you are the are warp zones. Okay. When each of you stands on one, all will be transported to a different area where you can learn more about the controls and how to use uh, various items. Begin by standing on the warp zones ahead. The one below will take you back to the map. Also, when you are playing by yourself, you can switch between heroes by pressing L or R. Skillfully switch between heroes to make your way to the warp zone. Actually, I'm not going to do that, because I already called my, uh, called my guy over here. So if I just stand on one, then the other guy will teleport over there. Because I've played this a uh, lot, actually. When it first came out, I installed it, because it was free. <laughs> like, why not? Oh, dang, I just missed that rupee. Whatever it's called, ruby, I don't know. Okay, let's destroy this. Actually, we should talk to this guy. A lovely, the lovely jewel you have found is a rupee. Your rupees are counted in the wallet that appears in the bottom right corner of the top screen. The rupees you and your partner gather are pooled in a single wallet. If one of you faints during your quest, he can be revived for 50 rupees, but the cost for revival will increase each time one of you faints. If you collect a lot of rupees, you will be re rewarded. In this world, the, uh, those who collect the most rupees are acknowledged as the greatest heroes. Okay, so now that I know that, I'm just gonna ignore all the other guys because it's annoying, and I know all of this game. So. Ooh, buttons. Cool. Hmm. The heck? Oh yeah, chest. I forgot about these. Oh, 20 rupees. It's not even that good, but I don't care. Okay, I'm gonna stand on this. And use epic skills by walking. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna take all the chest stuff. Ooh, cool. You can open a treasure, uh, treasure chest by pressing A. Okay. Ok, 
two. Oh, sorry, I didn't read that, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna open the chest. It pretty much just told me how to get stuff. I think you know. Okay, so I got two rupee shards. Ooh, chests. Ooh, lots of rupees. Epicest attack. Oh, okay. Oh. Okay, there's a random guy. If you strike your swords together, sparks will fry. Uh, fly. Try this in places where you want to light a fire. When you are playing by yourself, stand by a spot that looks like it can be lit and swing your sword. Your partner will swing his along with you. Okay, then. Blue random guy. Get all the rupees. And hopefully another ru Oh, sweet. Sh uh, sword attack is up. As you can see. Just has to adjust. Okay, it's adjusted. Oh, okay, I'm just gonna push this onto there. And that onto there. Skills. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna talk to some random guy after I do- Oh, that's what happened. There's fairies in the bushes, I'm not gonna cut them out yet. Some switches are too strong for one hero to press them down. You and your partner will need to step on these together. You can open that door with the keyhole over there by using a small key. The door will open when the hero carrying the key touches the door. Okay, makes sense. I've played this game a few times, but I don't care. Boom. Evil snakes. They're way too easy to destroy. But they don't, like, give you anything. Hey, they're still rupees. You know, they're worth it. No. Oh, no. Okay, I lost that. No. Okay, I got it. May as well just... Oh, what the heck. Oops, I pressed the wrong button. Did she just fall? Yeah, I think he just fell. Okay, I'm gonna open the chests, the epic chests, and that one, and I got a key. I'm just gonna cut down these bushes, just in case there's a rupee shard, so I may as well get them. It's not like they cost money. Open the door, okay. Attention, the door has been opened. Okay, I hope there's no holes. Ooh, sweet, button. That can either mean something good or bad. I have 229 rupees in total. Yay. A key again. Woo. <laughs> this is so fun. Okay, I'm gonna open that block thing. You will find areas of shallow water and deep water. Once you enter the water, you can only climb out of it from shallow water areas. When swimming in deep water, press A to swim and B to dive. Okay. Take careful. Uh, take care not to be it uh, not to get sucked in by wor the whirlpools. Okay, that'll work. Woo! Oh, it just slows me down. Okay, so I'm gonna talk to this guy. You will find currents and rapids in, in the water. I <laughs> didn't see that, sorry. Some effort, it, it, it might take some effort, but it, you can s uh, swim against currents, but you'll never get past rapids. Okay, oh yeah, rapids are, uh, rapids are those. They're like that. Yep, that makes sense. Instead of a water tile block, they put it, uh, they probably just put a land block there so you couldn't get onto it. Okay. Strike cracked balls with your sword to break them. Okay. Oh, I remember these. These don't look like walls. Which is really weird. Okay. Get the rupees. Amazing rupees. Just got 40 there. Oh, I think these are traps. I'm gonna get shields. Wait, I already have shields. Sweet. Let's talk to this guy. 
you can stand in front of an item and press A to trade the item that you have for the one before you. Press Y to use your item. Okay? You can hold only one item at a time, so switch it out with others as needed. Remember, you will find some enemies cannot be defeated without using a shield. Oh yeah, these ones, aren't they like blue turtle guys? Yeah, I think so. Yep, blue turtle guys. Boom. Die. No. Ah, oh, I hate blue turtle guys. They're bad. But they give me a lot of rupees. Oh god. Okay, got the rupees, and I'm free-ish. I hope those blue, um, things are real. Okay, good. I thought they were gonna be the fake ones. Yay, I have almost 500 rupees. I wish I could run in this game. That would be awesome. Ooh, the tiny gnat hat. Is it called a gnat hat? Yeah, I think so. You got the gnat hat. Wear it and watch as you become tiny. Okay. Well, I can't really watch myself. Never mind. Okay, I'm gonna talk to this guy. Talk. You can become small when you wear the... The gnat hat. I almost said gnat. Okay. And then you can go through tiny holes without any trouble at all. But remember, you can only carry one item at a time. Okay, right now I'm just gonna save. Oh, I can't save. Sorry about that. Okay, so I'm just gonna do the gnat hat thing, and it will have to be the end of the video. <laughs> my device doesn't have too much space. Oh yeah, I have to throw myself. Uh, yeah, got it. Or, oh, I can do the gnat that, a hat thing. I'm a tiny pixel. There's a blue guy following me. Haha. -ha. Oops, wrong thing. Okay, I got 20 rupees, and gnat hat. Oh, I almost fell. Okay, good. He didn't fall. I'm free. Okay, that guy isn't though. <laughs> He's just sliding. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. Oh yeah, this part's cool, but... I'm just gonna destroy this to get all them fairies. Uh, is that a sock? Oh yeah, it does speed, okay. Thank you for watching. This is the end of the video for now. So please, uh, like, comment, and subscribe. And stay tuned for more videos.